If the absolute value of something, in this case x plus 5, is less than 13, that means it has to be itself less than 13, and also it has to be bigger than negative 13. For the second equation, I'm also going to subtract 5 from both sides, but in this case, so I can split this into two inequalities and solve each of them. First, I'm going to subtract 5 on each side of the left, which leaves me with x less than 8, which makes sense, because if it equaled 8, this whole thing would equal 13. For the second inequality, I can again subtract 5 from each side, and this time I get that x has to be greater than negative 13 minus 5, which is going to be negative 18. Again, we could see that if we were negative 18, negative 18 will give us a negative 13 in here, which would equal exactly 13 if we took the absolute value. So using something called set builder notation, the solution would be the set of all x such that negative 18 is less than x less than 8. In other words, x is between negative 18 and 8. We can also represent this on a graph, in this case a number line, because it never actually reaches negative 18. I would put a open circle around negative 18, and it never really quite reaches 8. I would put an open circle around 8, and then I can connect those two with a line, and that line indicates that anything on the line is a solution. In other words, anything in between negative 18 and positive 8 without it actually being those numbers is a solution to my original absolute value equation. Hope that helps. Thank you.